or fucking get a bobby pin that I. Take it. It's mine. Oh, I used to love these when I was a kid. I used to love these when I was a kid. You always replenish in my allowances. Murder! Murder was the password! Murder was the password! Murder was the password! <laughs> Ew, karma! Fucking balls that scared me. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. Sun lighting mimics the feeling of being outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. Okay. Mary, it's gonna make these noises chill. Oh god, this isn't good, dog meat. This isn't good, buddy. I agree. I agree, buddy. sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids never sweep again open my panties uh oh moms will love how our culinator 3000 kitchen oh, system makes cooking a breeze Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. I got not reload. Bored? Don't be. Step into our entertainatron room and watch the latest. I agree with Dogmeat. Or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. Concerns about Guys, I don't remember this build. Eye on you cameras enable the vault leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. I'll never be alone again. Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, your family will be safe in a vault tech vault. I do work today. I work at five. But I'm off tomorrow as of right now. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful vault tech guides. I what? I'm like a total smooth skin? Who, me? Bird to bird prototype. This is a scaled model of a prototype military transport vehicle being developed by the US military. Bird to bird is a VTOL vertical takeoff and landing craft with an extremely durable armored fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed and the military hopes to press them into service by 2025. Well, Got news that. Oh, well, thanks, Trog. We're literally, I've decided I'm literally just gonna play this. Boo. What's in here? Oh! Pardon me, they're gonna. They're coming from that way, friend. more than this. Oh yeah, there is. Why am I 
the rest of them are. Was already on it. The Delta, is that nine? Nine rocket was donated by the United States Space Administration and by a grant from the United States Department of. Rocket information commissioned by the USSA in 2020 was the last of the manned rockets that sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. The Delta Nine was in. Use for almost 15 years before being converted to military use and having the crew and instrument sections replaced with a nuclear warhead. Delta 9 recorded over 77 successful launches, making it one of the most, most successful rockets in U.S. history. The rocket, developed entirely by USSA scientists, was a single stage vehicle with an ejectable crew section or satellite storage bay. The propulsion system was a nuclear electric derivative drive. I need a cookie after this. Using a massive electrical jolt to start the nuclear reactor reaction on launch. The crew section was protected by from the radioactive chambers by way of massive titanium vanadium disc. The spacecraft had the capability to sustain two astronauts for up to 24 days maximum. The longest recorded space flight in a Delta IX rocket was 17 days due to 12 missions. Uh, fucking get a bobby pin that I see that that was funny shut the door I just shut the door on him there'd be good shit down here This is the actual USSA deep space suit worn by Captain Carl Bell on May 5th, 1961. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiant 7, but this has been constantly refuted by both the Soviet Union and China. Defiant 7's flight lasted for a total of 12 minutes and 7 seconds as it achieved one full revolution around the Earth. Well... I'm gonna have to double check. Are. This unusual flag was recovered from the surface of the moon by the very last manned flight to its surface in 2052. The flag is from the old Valiant 12 Virgo 3 lunar lander that touched down November 14, 1969. Its remarkable condition can be attributed to its construction. The flag is actually made of special materials to withstand the harsh environments of space. Cool. Where's the ghoul running one? It's in there. This is, this is what we need over here. This is what we need. What's this? The medals in this case were typically awarded to American pilots of World War II from left to right. Medal of Honor, Distinguished Silver Cross, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, Navy Cross, Air Medal, Bronze Star, and Purple Heart. Oh, on July 16th, 1969, the Virgin Lunar Lander, Valiant 11, came the first manned space vehicle to touch on the moon. The Valiant 11's crew consisted of Captain Richard Wade, Captain Mark Garris, and Captain Michael Hagen of the USSA. We salute these brave and noble men who took their very first steps on a planetary body other than our own. Take it. It's mine. Way to 
go, y'all. I don't know which way to go. What in the hell? What in tarnation is this? I used to love these when I was a kid. I used to love these when I was a ah! Why are you targeting dog meat? Why would you target dog meat? Power out right. right right the kisser. I was enjoying the show, by God. Jesus. I was trying. I mean, it's okay. We're, we're enjoying the show, dog meat. Chill. That's it. I thought there'd be more than that. There ain't no more than that. Activate planetary. Oh. Well, by God. What in the hell was this? Quantum. Magazine. 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 There's really no magazine. Unlock the damn terminal. More reading. Why are you always replenishing my allowances? Murder! Murder was the password! Murder was the password! Murder was the password! We did that for absolutely nothing! Where's these magazines? It's far out space facts. Space fact number one. The planet Jupiter is larger than a thousand Earth. The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but near the poles it rotates once every 36 days. A neutron star is completely dense in solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than lead. That means a piece of a neutron star the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building. If we were to send a message to someone on a planet belonging to our closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, which is almost 4.4 light years away, we wouldn't receive our reply for 8.8 .8 years. There are about 175 billion galaxies in the observable universe, each with as few as 10 million stars to giants with 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a comet that are, Okay, I'm over it. I'm over the space facts. Right. Oh, so sad. Oh my god. Found it. What's that?
Keep moving, Wastelander. Hey there. Why isn't it letting me in? That scared me. I thought I was going to get in trouble. Looks like that's the last of them, boss. So, Miss Chase, how did you come to be uh, held up in Paradise Falls? My friends call me Penelope. And let's just say those slavers don't take too kindly to people disrupting their caravans. And by disrupt, I mean blow up. Ha! Now that's what this wasteland needs. More women with spunk and explosives. So tell me, Penelope, what's the next stop on... Stupid human, shut up now! You come with us now! Super mutants! Out of the frying pan. Now see here, you hulking horrors. This young lady has been through quite enough for one day. Holster your weapons or... Why is your girlfriend picking their pockets? This is no time for sticky fingers, Derry. It's not what he's taking out, my dear, but rather what he's putting in. <laughs> Duck and cover! I feel good. <laughs> The old shady sands shuffle. It sure brings me back. I can you two try. smooth skins, okay? My, my, I, I hope you're doing well. You are rather resourceful for a co-op, aren't you? Are you kidding, my dear? Argyle has saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I hardly know how I got by before I met him. With all due respect, boss, you didn't. If you remember, it was me who got you out of that little situation in... Ah, now, Argyle, old chum. I'm doing Let's wonderful. Not, uh, Never better. Honestly. Those ancient exploits. Oh, Look at my rat scorpion. For example, that name of yours. Thank you. To like. Name's Bart. We love him. <laughs> You're in Japan? Wow. Boss, Bring like me back some candy, okay? From those ruins. You're sick? Quite right, old chum. Save those questions, Miss Chase. If we survive, what happens next time may even answer them. Be yeah, sure he's a red scorpion. His eyes are glowing. Exciting adventure of me. I got him at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Now, some music. I love him. Oh, this is where it was leading me the whole time in the sewers. Okay, I see. All of this. Guys, when I saw the Washington Monument, I didn't actually go inside. Because, A, I didn't know you could. Um, install the vertigo dish and activate the relay. Ew, karma! I know that feeling. I mean, it doesn't happen to me often, but... Sure, we did steal it. Smooth moves, kid. Smooth moves. Hey, all right. The hero of the wasteland returns. Yeah, yeah. It was the thrill of a freaking lifetime. Smoke a peace pipe, man. You know, you are so unlike your father. Thank you. I suppose that you want to know about that military weapons cache next. Yes. Yes, please. This holotape contains the location of the weapons cache. I hope you put them to good use and keep up the fight. Remember to keep us tuned in while you're out there and watch yourself. <laughs> 440 XP? So let's let's hear him out before we before we kill him. Three dogs seen it all. The capital wasteland at its ugliest. People killed for scraps of food, wounded children wandering aimlessly, some seriously fucked up shit. If it wasn't for the good fight, I think I would have gone crazy by now. Why bother operating Galaxy News Radio? Why candy coat the news when the world is in danger? 
People like the Enclave would have you believe everything is calm and totally under control. They're lying. Hell, President Eaton goes around spreading peace, love, and government, but no one even knows how old that Enclave signal really is. People need to hear the truth. It's a harsh world. We've got to work together to make it better. Not wait for Uncle Sam to ride in and save the day. You're safe up here in your fortress. What do you know about fighting? You've got to understand. If I die, so does the voice of the people. I can't take that risk. Your idea of saving the world means combing through the rubble and using a gun. I use my voice. We're two sides of the same coin. If you think always being a target of your enemies is safe, then you got a funny way of looking at things. Okay, go for it. I have to go. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. Wow, thank you. What time is it? I'm just curious. Oh, 8, 9.33 p.m.? Let's wait an hour. Looks like the good fight has gained a new ally. Okay. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. Ha ha ha! Got him.